Hello everybody, welcome to another video. This is Stan with teleprompter.com and there's never been a better time, comparing to 12 years ago, to start a new YouTube channel and I'll tell you why in a second. Until this point, if you wanted to have a successful YouTube, such as Mr. Beast, then you should have had an editor or have been a good editor yourself you should have had good gears or you should have known how to edit things, how to frame things, how to use the best quality audio and make sure that the retainment is high, just like Mr. Beast did. You see all of his videos are fast, 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 high retainment, high retainment, fast, 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 until now. YouTube has just changed its algorithm for the new creator to not have to do any of that. How incredible is that? You don't have to have the best gear, you don't have to have the best audio, you don't have to have the best editing techniques because you could just literally talk raw in front of the camera. And you don't have to do any retainment editing or anything else like that. And actually you can see now, even in Mr. Beast videos, as March 2024, he is also slowed down on his editing because people are tired of fast paced editing and boom, 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 in your face, everything, and just like grabbing your attention. People are giving more value now, more than any other time, to slow paced videos and to people who are, they can connect to their stories emotionally. And also another thing that you notice if you're scrolling on YouTube is that you see there are a lot more creators who are new and they're just literally sitting in front of the camera and talking and sharing their story and they have 10 views, 100 views, 500 views and I see this every day more than ever before on my, on my discovery page. And this is a great opportunity for you to jump in now and just share your story the way you want it. And it doesn't have to be perfect anymore. A phone is enough for you. Your phone microphone is enough for you. Just shoot your story and get better at speaking in front of the camera. For example, one of my friends just started a YouTube channel a month ago, and he talks about his life and how he faced a few things in his life, and it's a very specific niche. He got around 200, 300,000 views, and he got around three to 4,000 subscribers. He was able to monetize his channel and start a new income revenue for himself. Just by him sitting in front of the camera and speaking his story, and seriously nothing else. People engage with him emotionally, and they understand his stories, and they want to see more of him. And that, comparing to a year ago or two years ago, when you had to edit everything so heavily and make sure that the retainment is high, is a completely different time. Another thing with these things is that even if your video doesn't do well now, there's a chance for it that it may pick up a year later and it goes viral a year later. This happened to another friend of mine who had a video on how Apple technically shoots his event and how why is it that it's so good. And his video got really big at the reveal of the next iPhone, which was like a few months completely later. So when you shoot these things, when you post this thing, the only thing that you want to care about is you putting yourself out there, be vulnerable in front of the camera, be yourself and let people connect with your authentic self and seriously nothing else. You don't necessarily want to script the whole thing and make it so editing and uh, have B-rolls anymore as much as you did. It's really about the rawness now in this trend of YouTube in 2024. And if you jump onto this trend right now, you have an opportunity better than ever before to grow on YouTube and monetize yourself and give yourself another revenue of income. So in other words, now or never. You don't even need lighting. You can literally sit down in front of a window and just speak to your phone as you would speak to a friend and talk about the thing that's more important to you. One way you can do this to find out what your niche is or what is it that you want to talk about is to use something called the Ikigai or the reason of living. It's a Japanese concept. When I did this before I got to figure out myself, my way, my Ikigai was dog and psychology. And what was really interesting was that I was nobody back then. I had no idea where I was going and now I know where I exactly am. And knowing that was what pushed me to know what I need to do. And it's a very simple format that you can use for yourself. All it takes is for you to draw four circles next to each other, write down in one of them, what is the thing that pays the most? The other one, what is the thing that you love to do? The other one, what is the thing that the world needs? And the other one, what are you good at? And the thing that sticks in the middle is your ikigai or your reason to live. And that's what you really wanna talk about on your YouTube channel as well. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It helps us with the algorithm. And if you're starting your YouTube journey just now, then check out our teleprompter app in the description below. I'll see you in the next one.